I'm Justin Smith. I'm the chief surveyor and modeler for K5 Construction. I generate all models and CAD line work and take care of the localization. We're seeing huge improvements in accuracy between the 3D MC squared and the old System 5. There is a very significant difference in the accuracy and the production rate we're seeing. When we start with our dirt work, we have our tolerances of a tenth that's spec by the state, and we know we're hitting those tolerances. As we move up, we are utilizing between our motor grader, our 140H, and our 764 to place our capping stone and utilizing the millimeter in with that, we are hitting tolerances of 200 to 400 and it's very consistent. And then as we move on, the asphalt is also being placed with the millimeter. So we know that our product is where it needs to be and engineers are ecstatic on what they're seeing with how we're finishing their job. It's smoother. You can pick up every little crumb, you get your wind rows, you can blend them in where you gotta go. It just adjusts it and takes it the way it goes. On the laser, it moves within like three hundredths of an inch. It'll move the blade. It keeps it up pretty fast. You don't have to go real far like on a dozer that's choppy. The dozer's going up and down, so the blade's all choppy. This doesn't do that. The blade pretty much stays on the ground. I think we've been fine grading. I think it's about 3,000 feet a day. And on a mm -hmm. conventional setup, what would you have done? Uh, it wouldn't have been smooth. It would have, have been a lot less. It would have been a lot less. I couldn't tell you how much, but I mean, it would be a lot less than that. It's just, it just goes. We are doing less work to get the product where we need it to be. It's a lot less layout, a lot less labor force to get it to grade. Our labor force is down considerably from where we used to be. You can just come into a site and start working once you have the model created, but you don't have to take that period of time to allow for all that staking to take place. Overall, the production changes are caused in the broad scope because of the things that are eliminated, not needing to allow this time for staking and layout in each of these different applications. With the machine control taking over, just by its name, more of the control, some of the skills that were called arts of operators of the past, you don't need as much of that because the art is built into the machine control. So the computer, if it can be uh, art-worthy, is uh, taking over that part. We use the IGC system on the John Deere equipment to tie into the TopCon system, utilizing our, our models that we create, and so that it gives us a full package to move from beginning to end through the system and, and utilize all the equipment that we have already purchased, not forcing us to go into something new. We can get that machine up and running within six hours. So when we first started with the systems, we were running the cat dozers. It took a couple days to run your plumbing and get everything integrated into the machine before you even touch the electronics. It's quick. You know, once that machine shows up at our shop, I go over there with the electronics, I get it all ready, calibrated, measure it all out, and we're up and running within that day. We did evaluate the other systems out there. We like the flexibility of the TopCon system, and so when we went to TopCon and asked them, who are you going to be marketing to? They said to you, the customer, uh, and you decide what equipment you want to put it on. And that was a great point for us. We wanted to have a system that was adaptable to the different brands of machines we had. Some of the competitions seemed to be married to a certain brand. We didn't like that. We want to control the flexibility of our system. With TopCon, it offered that flexibility, and that's why we went with that one as opposed to the competition. We're looking to go further in the future with our concrete paving equipment. Uh, the asphalt we're already doing up at O'Hare. Currently, we still trim our concrete paving grade because it is referenced from that line, and that's how we're making that transition, but that's still costly. In the future, if we can eliminate that by going to machine control all the way through the paver, then we'll build everything from the bottom up. We'll sense and grade with millimeter on the grade, and then the paver will run off of that same model. So that's where we're headed. It's the wave of the future and that's the way we need to compete with our competitors. Everybody's bidding this way, everybody's trying to build their work this way. They're all seeing the, the significant savings by it. Our dream is to do all phases of our work with the millimeter system from the bottom up um, and that will eliminate a lot of cost in labor and layout.